Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.7.1 of the MyLinuxWork.files for Hyperland is now available. The MyLinuxWork.files are an advanced Hyperland configuration for Arch Linux and Fedora based distributions. The new version comes with a lot of bug fixes, but also with several new features. One New feature is the new Rofi layout of the application starter and all the Rofi menus. The second is the possibility to toggle NWG doc hyperland from the My Linux for Work settings app. In addition, you will get a new W logout layout, a horizontal layout, which looks a bit more modern. In this video, I want especially thank you to all contributors to the MyLinuxWork.files. You sent me so great and valuable pull requests over my GitHub and I could implement a lot of them. So please continue with that. I really appreciate your support. If you like that video and if you like the MyLinuxWork.files, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And with that, let's jump in. Welcome to Hyperland with the MyLinuxWork.files in the version 2.9.7.1. And also this new version includes several new features. Let's close the welcome app. And let's start with the most obvious change. And this is the new layout for Rofi application starter. You see the new two columns layout with transparency, with blur effect and a nice style search bar. So this is already something new that you hopefully like. And the layout also is implemented in all other Rofi menus. For example, the new theme selector for Waybar for the status bar. And the new version of the dot files includes a new theme. If you search for modern, you see that there are six variations of the new modern theme. Let's start with the light theme. And you see the new layout. When I open the terminal, you see that the window name is now in the middle. The workspaces are on the left side and the modules have nice rounded edges. The rest is the same. Yeah. So you can also click here on apps to open the application starter. You have here the, the menus that you already know. And on the right side, you see something new. Here is a new icon for the uh, available packages that you can update. And when you are connected with a uh, Wi-Fi, then you will see here in the network module, the Wi-Fi name. The rest is the same. This is Kitty and a new prompt is now available, which looks a bit more stylish. So for example, when you search, you see here the new prompt. When you switch into a GitHub repository, you see here on the right side, additional information about the status of your repository. Let's close the terminal for now and click here on the My Linux for Work icon. Also, this version has now a new module, the brightness module. And if you are on a laptop, change the brightness settings here. Let me change first the wallpaper. You see, this is the new wallpaper version. And here on top is now a search bar. So you can search for a wallpaper name. And I will take this wallpaper, Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. All right, you see also on top that the status bar has taken colors from that wallpaper. So also this is working fine, but I want to change it to white. Yeah, now it's totally white with some gray in it, but um, the main color is white. Okay, now we open the settings app. Here is the settings app. And in appearance, you see here that you can now toggle the dock. 
nwg doc hyperland yeah and here is the doc now at the bottom of your screen let's close it and with that it's very easy to start applications you know that you can pin bookmarks favorite applications directly to the doc it's optional it's disabled um, when you install um, the dot files for the first time but you see how easy it is to enable it let's choose another wallpaper yeah, for example this one and we switch the theme to modern black this looks also very cool and let's tweak a bit more we open the hyperland app and we can reduce the border size to zero. We can also increase the window gaps. And where are the roundings? Here are the roundings. I will reduce the roundings to five. And the inactive opacity, I will reduce it to seven. So let's increase here the blur effect a bit. That is, here we are. And now we can close it. Yeah, and here I have again a very interesting layout. Let's put the window into the tiling mode. Let's close the windows in the background. Let's open Thuna. Also this into the tiling mode. And you have a very individual desktop environment for you. Here on top, you see here the screen shader that you can activate to make the screen colors a bit more comfortable, especially in dark environments. You have here the clipboard manager, also now with the new layout. The last change that I want to show you is the new horizontal W lookout menu. You see it here. And you will notice that the Hibernate features has been removed because it requires a very individual setup. It depends on your local system and it was not possible to standardize it in that dot files. So if you want to have it back, you need to implement it individually. All configurations of the mindingsword.files will be stored into the .files folder. And from that, you can find Zoom links, symbolic links, into the config folder. You see it here. For example, um, oh my posh, a sim link into the .files folder in your home directory. That means you can work either in the .configs file directly or just in the .files folder. And I'm here in the .files folder and you see here all the configurations. Here is AGS, AGS, which implements here that overlay, also the overlay here on the calendar. We have Alacrity, um, Bash RC, here are the configuration for bash and here at the end uh, cshrc the configuration for csh hyper configurations as always are in the folder hyper and modularized with several separated files in the folder conf the doc configuration is in nwg doc hyperland and here is the folder my Linux for work. And here you see some scripts that I use for the desktop. Important for you is here the settings folder. So you can find here all settings of the my Linux for doc files. You can, of course, change it directly in the file, or you can use one of the configuration options here, the welcome app, mainly the settings app, with that, you can overwrite directly here the settings, which makes it very comfortable. And the Hyperland app is also there. And the settings will then be updated here in that folder. For example, Waybar theme, you see this is the modern black theme. 
when I switch now to another theme, let's take modern white. You see now here is modern white. So several applications update then the settings here in the settings folder. You can find the latest version of the dot files in the GitHub repository and you can install it for Arch Linux based distributions in Fedora based and for Fedora based distributions with these single commands. In the wiki, you can get even more details about the installation procedure. Yeah, you can also install it with Git directly. With Arch Linux, you can also install um, the dot files with yay. So everything is described here in the wiki. And also here, please notice the customization section here in the wiki. It describes several ways how you can even more individualize the my Linux work dot files to your personal leads and also to protect folders that you have changed individually from upcoming updates of the dot files. So I really would suggest that you go through the wiki, read the articles, and then you have a greater overview how the My Linux for Work has been configured and how this works. And I only can say thank you for all the contributors. Um, you shared again a lot of nice implementations. It was absolutely helpful. And you see here, for example, in this pull request that I have implemented several of these optimizations into the dot files directly. And that's it. The version 2.9.7.1 of the My Linux Work dot files for Hyperland is now available. Please have in mind, Hyperland is currently under heavy development. The developer team updates existing modules or add new core modules to the platform. This can result in several dependency conflicts. So please make sure that you install the latest updates on your system of Hyperland and read the Hyperland documentation. If you find side effects, it does not mean that it always comes from the Malinus for Work dot files. For example, startup problems usually come from the core from Hyperland directly and you need some individual modifications on your system. So please check the Hyperland wiki. With that, thanks for watching. More features will come soon. And I plan for the next version, the support of OpenSUSE. Let's see. I do my very best and see you next time.